Hello friends, in this video I'm going to solve some uh, simple uh, linear and quadratic equations. So let us start with the first question. The question reads 5x plus 7 is equal to x minus 2. So one of the best ways to solve an equation is to bring the x's or the unknown terms to one side and the numbers to the other side. So it's better to bring the x's on the left hand side. So this is your left hand side, RHS, and this is your RHS, your right hand side. So when I say left hand side, this is your left hand side and this is your right hand side. So I can see x here, I want to get rid of this x. So well, I say how can I get rid of this plus x? So I want to take away x from this side. So you take away x from this side. So I'll do one step at a time. So this will bring the x's on one side. So you go 5x minus x is 4x plus 7. You bring down the 7 is equal to negative 2. Just like that. And then you want to find, uh, you want to get rid of this plus 7 from the left hand side. Or you want to bring the numbers on the right hand side. So well, what's the opposite of plus 7? That's minus 7. So if you take away 7 from left hand side, <coughs> you should take away 7 from, <coughs> <coughs> and excuse me, you should take away 7 from the right hand side. So this and this gets cancelled. So now you've got 4x from on the left hand side is equal to negative 2. Take away 7 is negative 9. So you take away, you divide both sides by 4. So if you divide this side by 4, you may ask why did I divide by 4 because it's multiplied by 4. So x is minus 4, 9 over 4. Okay, This is right or if you want to simplify this as a red decimal, this is minus 4.5 over 2 which is minus 2.25. Okay, and this that's your answer. So here what I have done is I have halved this. Half of 9 is 4.5 and half of 4.5 is 2.25. Okay, I've got a question sitting here. I made that small. I'll make that bigger now. Okay, now you can see this. X to the power of 4 is 81. Uh, I'm doing this without a calculator. So I can go, I, I will think, how can I write this as a at the fourth power. So do you know any number that raised to 4 gives you 81? So it's a good to know that 3 to the power of 4 or 3 squared, you should be knowing is 9, that is 3 times 3. 3 to the power 3 is 27 and 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So I can say x to the power of 4 is same as 3 to the power 4. So now you can compare the, because you, this and this can be compared from the left hand side and right hand side. So well you can say x is equal to 3, just like that. Okay, next question. 5x minus 7x minus 6, 5x squared minus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. We can do this in different ways. So well I'm going to think like this. I, I, have, I have to put this in bracket first, I want to put this in bracket. So I'm looking first look at this. I've got a 5x squared here. So what should come here and in this bracket? So well I can go 5x squared can only be written as 5x times x or x times 5x doesn't matter. So 5x times x is 5x squared. Now I want to get this negative 6 by putting a number here and here. So well I what will happen if I put plus 3 and uh, minus 2. Okay, so does it work? So this does give me minus 6, 3 times negative 2 is, but you have to confirm whether you're getting the minus 7x, so you should check this. You can, get, if you multiply this 2, this will give me plus 3x, and if you multiply this 2, this gives me minus 10x. And my, this 2, does give you minus 7x, so that's fine. So this is, so I can, I'll rewrite this, so this is 5x plus 3 
times x minus 2 is equal to 0, just like that. So now this is a quadratic equation. So well, you can say this is equal to 0, 5x plus 3 has to be 0, or and x minus 2 has to be 0, because when product of two numbers, I'll repeat this, I have done this in many videos, you can watch my other videos on solving equation. This is a very simple fact. If A times B, if A and B are numbers, if A and B, A times B is equal to 0, this implies that A is 0 or B is 0. So using the same fact or same principle, you can say 5x plus 3 has to be 0 or x minus 2 has to be 0. And now if you take away 3 from both sides, you can say 5x is equal to negative 3. So x is negative 3 over 5 which is negative 6 over 10, which is negative 0 0.6. This is also fine. And if you add 2 to both sides, so x is equal to 2, just like that. These are the two answers. So x is equal to 6, 2, or x is equal to negative 0 0.6. OK, the last question, <clears throat> let me change color. The same principle here product of two numbers is negative 8. Uh, okay, so that cannot be applied here. So we have to expand this. I thought it was a 0 here. So if you expand this, so this is 6x minus 2x squared is equal to negative 8. So I'm going to write this as minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, I don't like this minus 2 here. I could see a minus 2 here, a 6 here, and 8 here. Now, if you ignore this minus 2, 6 and 8 are all even numbers. So you can divide by 2. So I'm going to divide all by negative 2. And that's acceptable. Whatever you do on to all sides, if all parties are happy, that is, maths doesn't have any problem. So maths has problem, you end up in having problems in most of the uh, examples when you are not fair. Okay, let me bring this color back. So negative 2 divided by, so this and this will get cancelled, so you've got an x squared here. 6 divided by negative 2 is minus 3x. 2 divided by negative, 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4, and 0 divided by this is 0. So now this has become a quadratic equation, so you can put the two brackets equal to 0. Okay, so you've got an x squared here, you put an x at x here, and negative 4, two factors of negative 4, which gives you negative 3, are negative 4 plus 1. You should always check whether it makes sense or not. x times x gives you x squared, minus 4 times 1 gives you minus 4. Now this is your, if you multiply this two, that will give you minus 3x, and if you multiply this to, that will give you plus x. So minus 4x plus x does give you minus 3x. So now if you set this equal to 0, if x minus 4 is equal to 0, you can say x is equal to 4, and if x plus 1 is 0, you can say x is negative 1. Okay, the last question. Okay. Now here, this is again, you can apply this rule, product of two numbers is 0, so 3x is 0, and x plus 4 has to be 0. So if 3x is 0, x 3 times what gives you 0? This has to be 0, so x is 0. x plus 4 is 0, what plus 4 gives you 0? So x is negative 4. Hopefully these videos have been helpful. See you in the next video.